Friday's collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, the second largest in US banking history, has shaken the tech industry and spread anxiety across the financial system worldwide. Um, we wired out the money yesterday, but Silicon Valley Bank did not honor our wire. So we were not able to move any of our cash um, out of our bank account. Tech startups have been left without access to their money in the wake of Silicon Valley's bank's crash. On Wednesday, the bank sold a large chunk of its securities, worth $21 billion, to found its redemptions and ended up losing about $1.8 billion, which it needed to fill through a capital raise. On Friday, the bank failed after its customers hurried to withdraw money once the rumors of the bank's financial health spread. The bank had already run out of cash, causing what it is the largest failure of a financial institution since Washington Mutual during the climax of the financial crisis in 2008. We can't pay our vendors today. What happens when tens of thousands of companies can't pay their vendors anymore because they don't have cash in the bank? We're facing something much more than just my company potentially collapsing, but something economically very dramatic. In the UK, Barclays and Lloyds Banking Group have been approached by the board of SVB UK over the weekend to see if they can secure an emergency takeover deal. Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt are holding talks with the Bank of England's governor as the collapse might spread across Britain's tech sector. I'm very concerned about the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank because it is really bad news for the startups in the UK, particularly in tech and in the life sciences that are exposed to Silicon Valley Bank. We need to see some urgency from government so that when markets open tomorrow morning, businesses here in the UK know that they're going to be able to pay their suppliers and be able to pay their staff. But we will have to wait until tomorrow to see which real effect this will have on the rest of the banks across the world.